generally the first step when you've entered into a contract with someone and now they're owing you money and they haven't paid it is uh, to send a formal demand letter. So essentially what that is, is a letter that summarizes the details of the amount owing, uh, it demands payment by a certain deadline, and then advises that you may pursue legal action without any further notice to that person. Um, sometimes a demand letter is all it takes and getting that kind of formal letter will be enough to spur payment. Um, and if a demand letter doesn't work, generally the next step would be to start legal proceedings against that party that owes you money. Uh, this means starting a lawsuit which, if it doesn't resolve, would end with a judge or another type of decision maker uh, providing a judgment as to whether money is owed and how much is owed. Uh, there are very various steps that must be taken in a lawsuit uh, before you get to that trial or uh, judgment phase and at any point uh, a matter can settle if you come to an agreement with that party that owes you money. If, if they acknowledge and decide to pay you, you don't have to keep on going down this legal process. Uh, one thing that's important to note when someone owes you money is that there is a general rule that you only have two years from the date on which you get a right to bring a legal action. Uh, so for example, that could be the day uh, when payment is due and it wasn't paid uh, to enforce that debt. Uh, it's called a limitation period. And if you don't bring in legal action within that two years, then you are barred from doing so in the future. Uh, there are various factors that can extend the limitation period and you know contacting a lawyer to discuss your case is, is one of those things that can be helpful uh, and they can provide you advice on when that limitation period uh, would likely expire in your particular circumstances.